Time to look ahead to the final one day international between India and New Zealand in Wellington. Series already decided. Virat Kohli enjoying a much deserved rest. Uh, questions on the fitness of MS Dhoni, if he'll be back in the team or not. But it's where the fifth ODI and the first T20I take place. Tends to move around a bit, uh, Deep Das Gupta in Wellington. And if it does so, yeah. then there may be some concerns for India, who are still trying to recover from the shock of being bowled out from 92 a few days back. Yeah, 92 was an aberration. I don't see that happening again. Uh, I don't see so many uh, quality batsmen failing at the same time. So, I, I don't think, even though, uh, having said that, Wellington is not an easy, uh, uh, you know, the conditions won't be that easy with ball moving around and it's a windy place. Uh, it's not going to be easy for the batsmen, but I, I don't think it's going to be as bad as 92. It almost feels like as an Indian fan, of you, someone who's watching Indian cricket closely, you want these three in the middle. Yeah. That's Kedar, Karthik, Raidu to get some tough scores, good runs under tough conditions on their own without the help of a Virat yeah. or a Shikhar or a Rohit Sharma. If Dhoni is fit, would you still want to keep him out another game so that these three can have another crack at it? Play Shubman Gill or if Dhoni is fit, he comes in for a Shubman Gill. Uh, if, if Dhoni is fit, I would play him. I would play him. Like you mentioned about uh, these three, Dhoni also comes in, plays these conditions where it's windy. Because again, uh, I mean, the, the World Cup is pretty long. Yes. You're going to play the World Cup in the first half of the English summer, which can be a little chilly, windy and moist and everything. Uh, conditions as a batsman would be very tough in the first half of mm. the World Cup. So, I think it'll give you some kind of an idea, uh, the last game as well. So, I think I'll, uh, if that's the case, if, if MS Dhoni is fit, I'll play him. Shubman Gill, He'll have his time. He's special. He's a class act, but he will get his opportunities. He will have his time. I think it's more important that MS Dhoni okay. plays there and the middle order, the three names you mentioned. So, to explain the Shubman Gill situation, because there'd be some fans thinking, you know, that's a little silly or harsh on Shubman Gill. Play him one game and then drop him the next. Give him a run of games. But you're simply saying that now it's too late to consider him for World Cup plans. Yeah. And therefore... Let him, let's him. let have him at length, let's look at him after the Ab World Cup. Absolutely, because how I see it is everything is, is moving towards the World Cup. I mean, everything that you do, your plans, it's all about the World Cup. And unfortunately, you've just got this last game and the series against Australia before the World Cup. That's all you have. Yeah. Uh, and and I, I certainly believe this, that after the World Cup, this Indian one-day side will look totally different. Hmm. I don't see a lot of people will be there who yeah. are there because everything is about the 2019 World Cup right. and things will change and move and as I mentioned, I mean, someone like Shubman Gill, he's not dropped after one game, he's, you can say it is rested technically or whatever mm. you want to call it, but like well, I said, it's a makeshift he, situation, Virat it is. he's not there so he's playing See, tomorrow. He, he, he wasn't yeah. even your first choice uh, uh, squad Reserve member, right? Squad member, yeah. yes. So he wasn't, he came in because Kale Rahul was not there. So, okay, there, there's another situation that can be looked into is the third, uh, as in your backup opener. Because at this point in time, Ajinkya scored some runs uh, for mm. India A against the English A, the English Lions. Uh, you can try out Shubman Gill as your uh, uh, backup opener or Rishabh Pant as your backup opener. So, there are these options because mm. that's the only option or, or KL Rahul for that matter if, yeah. uh, if you're going to still consider him as a, as a backup opener. Because that is the only position I think which is which is still up for mm. grabs, so to say, as far as the squad is concerned. Okay, and it's not something that India need to necessarily fret over. So, I get Deep's point that look at Shubman Gill a little later and get the guys who are surely going to make the World Cup or look likely to make the World Cup as much game time. New Zealand have their own questions to answer and they tried to change things about. We've already heard from that camp that it's not about this bilateral series as much as it is about getting your uh, squad and playing 11 right ahead of that World Cup. And they tried Henry Nichols as uh, an opener in the fourth game, which went okay. It's hard to judge when you're only chasing, what, 92, 93. But when Colin Munro is the alternative, you're looking at two very different kinds of batsmen. We'll just throw out some numbers to Henry Nichols versus uh, Colin Munro. We'll start with just Nichols, who's not quite... Uh, uh, no, he's not opened in ODI cricket. That was his first time he did in uh, Hamilton. But in eight innings in list A cricket, an average of 81. So, more than capable. And we know that he's more of the orthodox, proper batsman. Colin Munro, a bit of a dasher. We'll just throw his numbers up as an opener in ODI cricket. So, that was list A Henry Nichols. This is ODI Colin Munro. And an average of 25, but a strike rate of 109. So, that's what you get with Colin Munro. Yeah. If you had to make a call, if you were in the New Zealand camp, now would you want to go the conventional way with Nichols or keep that maverick or dasher like Munro? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'll, I'll go with uh, Henry Nichols as an opener because, uh, listen, again, going looking at the World Cup, the first half will be tough for the batsman. If the ball is actually moving around a lot, you want more solidity in your top three. And I think, uh, uh, you know, Henry Nichols provides you with that. And you can actually slate someone like uh, Colin Munro in the middle order where uh, Henry would bat mm -hmm. uh, usually. 
so you can look at that as an option for New Zealand as well. So, yeah, next game I would look at uh, Henry to open. Okay, well, they've got Jimmy Nisham back too, so maybe there is room for Henry Nichols at the top of the order. Quick look at what Wellington might offer as far as just the numbers go in recent uh, times in uh, ODI cricket. Uh, while Hamilton was considered to be more of a ground to uh, to chase, just looking at space we spin. So, we say time and time again that Kuldeep and Chehel have been pulled at yeah. uh, Wellington and ODI cricket. We'll see if they both get a game or maybe you'd want to rest one of them, if at all, for Jadeja? No, no, just keep playing no, them. No, just keep playing spinners them. Spinners don't need rest, do they? Spinners, one, they don't need rest. <laughs> Secondly is, again, these are very anti-spin conditions. Yeah. So we also need to figure out, okay, they've been bowling in conditions mm -hmm. uh, where it kind of is a little more helpful for spinners. Sure. But this would be some uh, a, a condition where uh, it doesn't really help them. So how good are they when the conditions are, are not in their favour? Right, we'll find out. Thank you, Deepdas Gupta. Final uh, ODI of this series. Both teams, again, looking to try out as many things to get a few more boxes ticked ahead of the World Cup. As far as the scoreline in the series goes, it's 3-1 going into the final one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.